Oh gosh, we'll all die. Hey, this is India with Bags and Lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's go ahead and get started with today's topic, which is going to be to talk about two breakout stars that for the 2023 fashion year, and I'd probably be beyond that, but let, let, let's let's talk about this year and we can revisit it next year to see what happens okay so first up is going to be one of the it girls in the fashion brand and that's going to be loe bay okay so for me because i'm a handbag enthusiast when i first find out about a handbag brand which this is not my first time finding out about loe bay i've been really really looking at their pieces for a couple of years now but i immediately look at the handbags accessories because that's just where i love to live so no, their most notable bag that's very popular with the for a while now it's been kind of if you know you know because they haven't used large logos on it but their style that style is very distinct and if you're into handbags hopefully you are because you're watching this video <laughs> but if you have not heard of the way that it's going to be the puzzle bag so that one has been a distinct style that has been very specific to the way they it has a small kind of anagram printed on the side sometimes it's the color of the bag so they are spanish fashion house that started in 1846 and because i love handbags i have to talk about this which is i like how they've been very specific and very in their own lane they typically don't have a lot of styles that look like everybody else's styles i think they take some inspiration from the trends and on re in recent years they have gone um with kind of elevating some of their bags to change the change their bags to be more puffy when the puff trend was kind of popular that kind of thing but really just when you look at loeve's handbags they're very much loeve like you don't really see them in other places and they have other styles too the flamenco is a really nice one and there's some other ones here what's been most popular for the fashion girlies have been that puzzle bag and like i said it's been a distinct style so if you knew you you knew that was loeve when you saw a girl on the street with it or boy on the street whoever's carrying it <laughs> what seems to be what they've been able to kind of Oh, so sorry. Before I move on from there, let me let me follow my notes. That's what notes are for, right? Read the notes, girl. Read the notes. <laughs> Their creative director is Jonathan Anderson. And amazingly enough, he has been the creative director since 2013. I did look back into the history, which I did find something, but I wanted this video to be shorter. So I think that's, you know, really good that he's been the creative director for 10 years. That That's, that's amazing. The signature symbol for 2023 has been the anthurium flower i will throw the name up down below here but you've seen that with a lot of pieces like you can see here they've been featuring it with uh, their handbags also i've seen it on the front of a dress but what's been coming out more so recently is a lot of the fashion girls have been not only buying handbags but buying their ready to wear pieces like i think one really popular one is this really cute crop sweater with the anagram on the front also i've seen people buy the jeans so they've been really good about creating these wearable pieces that still kind of have a little element of where'd you get that from <laughs> so it's been really working for them so the thing is that what is cool about loeve is they've been kind of pushing the envelope a little bit i remember that they had those balloon shoes that came out and they had different versions of those balloon shoes one with like little bitty balloons all over one with an enormous balloon as the foot and then one as a big balloon across kind of like the where the base front of your foot would be <coughs> Burn your foot would be which is what was another one also they have done a lot of kind of quirky out of the box type things like that so for example i believe it was yes fall 2021 they did these oversized enormously large tassels so when you think of tassels like tassels of tassels been around for a while but they i mean like a larger than lifestyle style sized tassel hanging from the bottom of your pants and it's not even a bell bottom it was just kind of very unique different and so they seem to have been known for kind of things like that that have been very unique to the brand now they also do now have more of these wearable staples like i said like t-shirts with an anagram on the front jackets with the patterns on the elbows or on the back or on the jeans so these wearable kind of staple pieces are becoming their thing and so yeah 
I, I think Loewe is just gonna blow it out of the park. If you're at this portion of the video, thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and continue to watch the rest of the video. Right now, while we're here, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button to like the video. It will really, really help me out. Also subscribe if you're kind of loving my content. Check out more content if you're not so sure. <laughs> um, but I love videos every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern time talking about fashion, lifestyle, as well as styling type of things, as well as hair as well. So I'm just trying to do a full fledge of everything I'm interested in on this channel. So I would love it if you continue to join me. Next up, which will be kind of a, I want to say surprising fashion house that has not been on a lot of people's radar for a while, is going to be Ferragamo. My Ferragamo notes aren't here. Oh, oh gosh. We'll all die. Yes. Okay, here are my Ferragamo notes. I did my order. I did the way first. But anyway, so it's going to be Ferragamo. Sorry. <laughs> If you've been watching my channel, which I will link the two videos down below, I've been talking about Ferragamo Studios, which I absolutely love my studios. Um, but anyway, so now they're kind of, uh, they're, they're on the fashion girls' radar. Um, a lot, a long time, people weren't talking about Ferragamo. It just was not attractive and appealing to people. But now, Ferragamo's popping up. I'm seeing people with talking about Ferragamo bags. I'm like, see, y'all should have came over here a while ago. <laughs> but anyway, so recently Ferragamo switched out their creative director. They now have Maximilian Davis. Failed his first uh, wardrobe, his first fashion show in 2023. That was his first collection with the brand. And so what what I was reading was that kind of the theme the, for it was effortless, effort, effortlessly sensibility which you can unpack that in so many ways like it's just more casual but it's sensible so it's like applicable style so it's not like a runway where you're like i can't wear any of that it's more wearable fashion wearable art relatable items which is really where where it's going and kind of what he what you've seen as well as you've seen the the see, going to see the photos popping up here in just a second so he is going for these more updated minimalist vibes. Ferragamo has long time been a minimal, so he's not trying to be all the way out the box, but kind of elevate the bones to be a full chicken. <laughs> so you can have some meat on it. That's what that's what it is. Now, as you can see from this photo, he's adding denim. When you think of Ferragamo, you're not thinking of jeans, but guess what? Jeans are the thing right now. So I like how this new twist is in there and done in a Ferragamo type of way. <laughs> so the nice thing here is that in denim while connecting the Ferragamo kind of history to it, which interesting enough, the denim vibes that Maximilian Davis was going for, which I'll link the article I was reading down below so you can read it for yourself, is more of the, um, he was inspired by the American Western, um, American Western. So I think that's really cool. Also, the nice historic thread there is that the cowboy boots created for the 1923 film, which I didn't write down the film, but there was a film in 1923 that Ferragamo created cowboy boots for. So, you know, there you go. And Ferragamo's been well known for the decades for beautiful shoe wear. Um, beautiful, comfortable, all of those things. I know I know the guy's been doing loafers from Ferragamo for some decades. <laughs> okay, so that is what the um, the denim vibe is. But also with that, so that also brings in that kind of effortlessly sensibility, right? Jeans, classic, very American. <laughs> like, you can't get more American than jeans. <laughs> so next up is the, he's been able to create distinctive wearable pieces. So the other photo that I wanted to show up here is going to be one where the guy has on a sleeveless button-down shirt, but it's in a pattern that's more kind of western-y, right? But then he has a tie with it. So it's kind of like tying it all together here to show kind of more so you can take our items, wear them to work or wear them to casual out outings with friends or we can glam you all the way up so i really like how he's pulling in these elements these vibes also with the photos we're showing examples of how relatable now ferragamo is to you in your daily life is really the message you're getting from these photos so the distinctive pieces 
um, that had broken out in the pack for Fairgum as far as on the accessory side because that's what I care about as accessories here is the Wanda bag. First off, I want to, her channel will be linked down below, but before all the other fashion girls was talking about it, Simply Cora posted a photo of the Wanda bag that she was considering last year on her community page and asked for people's opinions. So, check out Simply Cora's channel. She was ahead of the pack. Now I'm seeing all the other girls talk about it. I'm seeing it all, you know, splattered across Ferragamo's advertisements too. They're now added more pieces. They're more crystallized and sparkly. They're also adding things like kind of this ombre effect. But I just wanted to say, she was first, that was the first person I saw, but then now I'm seeing all the other fashion girlies, some of the bigger ones that are, are pulling in the Wanda bag. So I wanna say she's ahead of the trend <laughs> with the Wanda bag. The other one has been the classic uh, top flap that kind of most more so, everybody's gotta connect things back to a Kelly. So it's more kind of like a Kelly top handle type of bag. And so they kind of elevated that one a little bit and thrown in some different sizes as far as like making it East West style versus just the traditional top handle. But those are the two as well as kind of these breakout styles with these hobo not hobo they're kind of like cutout bags i don't remember the exact name but you'll see them on the screen here so those are some of the kind of like breakout handbag styles that i've seen recently with ferragamo thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you go ahead and like it as well as subscribe thanks